We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about the whole Kylie Jenner situation, you know, concerning Justine Skye. It's gotten super messy. So basically, both Kendall and Kylie Jenner used to hang with this singer named Justine Skye. And they were both really good friends with her. And this entire situation is just crazy. I'm going to go ahead and break everything down to y'all. Justine Skye, she's a singer. She's also signed to Rock Nation. And here's a little bit of fun fact for y'all. Justine Skye's mother, her name is Nova Perry. She's a high profile entertainment attorney who once represented Jay-Z, okay? So that's how I believe she got into the industry. Not saying that she can't sing, but come on now. Her mother represented Jay-Z and she's signed to Rock Nation. Y'all do the damn math. Anyways, Justine Skye is a pretty little chocolate girl with purple hair. And her and, you know, Kendall and Kylie, they all used to hang out, honey. They was like the trio. And, you know, they'd be on trips together. <laughs> we found her. We found her. I was laughing so hard. I just couldn't, I couldn't open the door back up. Sunglasses. Mm. I think those are cool. I noticed like in the last year or so I hadn't really seen them hanging out anymore she was always a little dark skinned friend with the purple hair that's how the media always you know coined her the girl with the purple hair but anyhow now the fans have put two and two together as to why they're not cool no more and I guess Justine has to stand behind Black China because let's not forget Kylie Jenner stole Tiger from Black China and now it's being reported that she did the same thing to Justine Sky. so if you guys know you know a lot of people gave Kylie Jenner congratulations on her new baby Stormy and all that stuff but one person who was silent who did not even acknowledge her was Justine Sky. And people put two and two together that Justine Sky at one point in time was dating Travis Scott. So when I tell you folks got their detective work on and they put things together and they found an old interview, Justine Sky talking about her, you know, talking to Travis Scott and she was gushing over him. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these clips and check out these memes. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. to pry into your personal life but gotta ask this is a female show what's up with your dating life i mean is there anything going on because i heard rumors around the streets <laughs> rumors yeah that uh you and a certain um rapper are actually an item i don't know if that's true or not but what <laughs> yes word in the street is you and travis scott are an item is there I any mean, truth to we're us? cool we're just chilling he's a really dope he's an amazing musician like he's an amazing artist rapper producer so i mean he's cool okay we vibe we kick it we have great energy so i guess that means you sort of are or not <laughs> or no confirmation i don't want to pull too no much out of you you know what i mean i mean you say what you want to say <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw all the stuff that people put together of Travis Scott and Justine Skye. But if that's not crazy enough, I got some extra tea for y'all. Somebody else also dated Travis Scott, and it's Kendall, okay? For y'all who don't know, supposedly Travis Scott and Kendall had a fling in 2015, 2016, and they allegedly slept together. And according to OK Magazine, Travis Scott was bragging to his friends that Kylie was better in bed than Kendall. And that's when Kendall just, you know, went off and she's not cool with Travis. And they also said that that's why Kendall Skyped into the birth and she wasn't there because she just feels uncomfortable that Travis slept with her and Kylie. So there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. This this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So here goes some pictures of Travis Scott and Kendall Jenner. One was at a Rodeo recording party back in December 2015. And the other one is him coming to Kendall Jenner's 21st birthday. And this was in 2016. So it's insane. They were dating. Then Kendall started dating ASAP Rocky in 2017. And so when she started dating ASAP Rocky is when he started trying to holler at Kylie, who was in that time dating Tyga. 
So this entire situation is crazy. If you guys thought the whole Tyga, Black China, and Kylie situation was messy, well, welcome to the whole damn Kylie, Travis Scott, Justine Sky, and Kendall Jenner situation. Now this shit is messy as hell. But me personally, I'm not shocked because as we all know, this is what the Kardashian Jenner girls do. How many times has Trina called out, you know, Chloe for taking her man? French Montana and Chloe Kardashian, you know, they're allegedly broke up right now. Everybody kind of wondered what happened to Trina when everything fell off or whatever. Well, she has a little bit of a response. Got a curve, this got nerve, trying to play me for a bird. I don't want this shit. You can keep that purse, you can keep that whip, you can have that bitch. You'll never find another tin caramel skin with the right tan. You know, she did that to Trina not once but twice. You know, Trina introduced Chloe to French Montana. Then she said she turned around and all of a sudden French Montana and Chloe were an item. Kim has been accused of doing the same thing. So this is what these girls do. So I'm not surprised at all. But now it makes more sense as to why Justine Skye and Kylie are not cool and why they don't hang out anymore. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey, but I'm here for it, bitch. So anyways, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this messy, messy situation concerning Travis Scott smashing Justine Scott, smashing Kendall, and then knocking up Kylie. Honey, it's hard for me to keep with all this mess. And then, oh yeah, last but not least, Tiger's ass now wants a DNA test. Now he's trying to claim baby Stormy too. He's saying that they were together, the times match, so he wants to make sure that he's not the father of Kylie's baby. Tiger ain't trying to do shit but get him a damn child support check, honey. That's what he's trying to do. If that ends up being his baby, he will fight for full custody and then make Kylie give him child support. Tiger is trifling like that, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.